Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at the Jazzminer X41U. Now this one is a ETC hash algorithm, which means it can mine Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and many other coins. It has a hash power of 520 mega hash, as well as a power consumption of 240 watts. So I mentioned that the hash rate was 520 mega hash, but you can actually go through the settings and you can change the frequency of the server from 200 megahertz to 225, and it'll change the hash rate to 500. 180, so this way it can overperform and you're overclocking the machine. So I'll show you all of the details in today's video on how it's been performing for the last seven days. I can show you how you can get it connected to a pool and also where you can get the Jazzminer X41U. Now I know the biggest question that you may have is what will happen to this miner once Ethereum switches from proof of work to proof of staking, and I'll tackle that whole conversation in just a couple minutes. So let's take a look at my setup. So I have this server rack that I got off of Amazon and I'll place this link below the video inside the description if you guys want to get the same one as me. There is another one from the same company that is a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact if you don't need it to be as large. But I wanted something big enough that I could put a couple of my small mini miners on the bottom and then also expand to where maybe I can put in maybe two or three more of these servers inside if I wanted to. Uh, so it does a really good job. It pulls out all the hot air out from the very top. It also seeps out on the back. If so, you have really good airflow ability with this one. And it also helps dampen some of the sound itself. And then especially with the acoustic foam, it even helps more. So now we're gonna to go to the computer side of things on where you can purchase your Jazzminer X41U. And so this one came from jinglemining.com. Uh, we'll also take a look at ASIC Miner Value. This is a site that can show you a bunch of information in terms of how much it's able to earn with its profitability, also the electricity cost. And these numbers here are based on the 520 mega hash Jazzminer, which I do have mine on a higher frequency. So it's actually earning um, a little bit more than this. So I have mine averaging about 580 mega hash, which is earning about $4 more a day than actually what it states right here. Um, I'm going to show you the mining pool that I have it in. You can see for the last 24 hours, we've averaged 577 mega hash, which is again, higher than that 520. Uh, here's all of the earnings. So I'm going to break all of this down here in terms of how much this is stating that you're earning each and every day. And we have seven days of of uh, results so this way we can have something that is pretty accurate and then here is the jazz miner dashboard so this is what it looks like when you get it connected and so i can show you how you can get it connected as well uh, and then also to where you can change the information from the frequency of that 200 megahertz up to 225 which is what i have mine set on so it will pull just a little bit more power maybe about 250 watts instead of the 240 watts um, but you are going to earn a little bit Bit higher uh, in terms of uh, your your return. So heading back over to jinglemining.com, again, I'll be placing this link below the video inside the description. So you can take a look at this one here, which is the one that I am reviewing, which is the X41U, or you can scroll down, take a look at the little bit cheaper option, uh, which is 450 mega hash. But basically the most important information here is, is basically the algorithm at which this one is mining. So as mentioned from before, this one is mining Ethereum. And the first question people will ask is what will happen when it switches from the proof of work to proof of staking, basically the POW and POS. Uh, and so the differences of those two is the reward. So I am getting rewarded right now for my proof of work. I am mining Ethereum, so I'm given rewarded Ethereum. Now, when it switches over into proof of staking, that means that mining is now done. And basically with proof of staking, you get rewarded for staking your Ethereum. Now, when that switch happens, which I believe is right around August of 2022, so it's this year in about six months, Months, then you just simply switch it over into ETC, which is Ethereum Classic. And there's a bunch of other coins that you can mine with it as well inside of that ETC hash algorithm. But the, the Ethereum Classic is the one that makes the most sense. And I'll share with you also how much this can earn you in today's market mining right now. And I can show you how you can find that profitability in the future. So if you are worried about buying an Ethereum miner and then it just goes into a brick status of doing nothing, you don't have to worry about that because you have other coins that you can mine with that same algorithm. Now, so for the details of this, we mentioned that it is a 520 mega hash, you know, give or take about 10%. And so when it comes down to 520 mega hash, because I did up the frequency to the higher number of 225, I am getting right around 580. And that's been the average for the last seven days. The power consumption is right around 240 watts, which sometimes it can go down to 230, 250 watts, but it's, it's always fluctuating. And it always comes out as an average of right around 69 cents a day in 
terms of the the uh, the cost to run it with the power consumption. Now it will have a little bit of noise. It's not a quiet, silent miner. It is going to be a little bit less in terms of the decibel levels of a regular ASIC miner. So I do have a DR5 in my garage. It's not the loudest one out there. I would say that the Avalon 1166 Pro is one of the loudest machines that I've heard, or maybe a Watts miner is also super loud. So a ASIC miner is very, very loud. You'd want to have it, you know, in a garage or in a completely separate room of where you're basically living. Um, but this one is going to be a little bit quieter and I have it inside of a server rack, which I'll place in the link below the video inside the description. And I put a couple acoustic foams in there that can dampen some of the noise as well. So this was the website of where you can purchase it. So here's some details of ASIC miner value. So right here, it's mentioning that your income would be $24 and 46 cents. Uh, and that is per day. The electricity cost will cost you right around 69 cents. And your profit when you take out that electricity cost is going to be right around $23 and 76 cents. Now this is accurate. If you are running at the regular 200 megahertz frequency now, because I upped it, mine's averaging right around uh, 580. So that's why we're averaging somewhere around 27, $28 a day. So, so this number right here, this is something that is, you know, important to take a look at. So this at this number here is saying $8,555. This is your profit after a full entire year. Now, when you take a look at the price of the miner itself of the server, 6,799, this is what you're looking for when you purchase a server or a miner, you want to find something that can earn you more in a full year than what the cost is. So usually when it comes down to buying um, uh, miners and servers, and things like that, it always fluctuates with the market price. And so I wouldn't be surprised if this price goes up a little bit in the future, just to kind of mimic what is going on with the price of Ethereum. So 60, uh, basically $6,800 miner, and it's earning you 85 after the whole year. And these things are very efficient. They can run 24 seven, and they're going to run for multiple years. So this thing will keep on earning you more and more, you know, more than just what you'd get in the one year. So again, here's the details, 520 mega hash, um, 240 watts. And then when you take a look down over here, this one's talking about the noise level, which is about 65 decibel levels. Normal ASIC miners are right around 85 or 90 decibel levels. Uh, when you take a look down over here, this is where you can purchase it and buy it. And Jingle Mining does have the best price out of all of them. And actually, when you take a look at what it's stating right here in, in the website um, of, of JingleMining.com itself, it is actually a little bit lower than what it states on ASIC miner value. So again, a very, very good indicator of a miner to purchase. So heading over into poolin.com, this is the pool that I have the, the miner in. You can see that right now the real time is 534 mega hash. With the average of 24 hours, it's sitting at 577 mega hash. Uh, today's estimated earnings is 0 0.0078. Yesterday's was 0 0.0079. When you take a look at the earnings, this is all the earnings for all of the seven days we've done it. So we have, uh, I don't really count the first day because it depends on when you plugged it in. So it's not a full 24 hour running the whole entire day. So we're gonna move up here where it was at 0 0.0084, 0 0.0084, 0 0.0079, uh, 0 0.0075, 0 0.0081, 0 0.0079. So you can almost think that 0 0.008 is the average. I believe this one here on the 30th, where it was a little bit lower, we actually had really bad weather, lost electricity for just a second, knocked everything out, came right back on, and then it took about 30 minutes to go back to the pool. So that's why it's a little bit less. But again, 0 0.008 is average. So you can just actually go to Google, type in ETH to USD. So it'll take you over into this site here. And so you can just type in what we just talked about. So 0 0.008, you can see here that uh, in today's market, that would be $27.67. You know, we did go a little bit higher to where we earned that 0.8. Four, so that was $29. So when you take a look at all of these numbers here, and if you're to take away some of the electricity cost, we're basically making, you know, $26.80 a day with electricity costs built in, we're, or we could be making $28.50 with electricity costs built in. So if we were to just average it and even bring it down to $28, so this is even a little bit less than what it says here, but let's say that you only earn $28 a day. Um, after a full month, that's $840. And then after the full entire year, that's $10,226. So $10,226 is more 
than what it says here. So by moving it from that lower uh, uh, frequency to the higher frequency, you, you are able to earn easily about $2,000 more dollars for the full entire year. And so these are just what I am doing here. This is, uh, you know, seven days worth of, of details and results. And so this is uh, always why I like to make it run a few days to let you guys know the real results. Now moving over into the Jazz Miner dashboard, this is just the status information. So you can see the uptime, you can see if it's connected, which pool it's in. The real time hash rate right now is 544 mega hash. The average is 581. And that is because I did move it up to that higher frequency. So where you're able to do that is if when you go inside of the settings and you go to Miner, uh, this is where you can go to the bottom and then you can switch the frequency from the 200 to 225. And once you choose it, then you can hit on update. And once you hit on update, you will have to wait about 30 to 45 minutes for it to show up back in a pool. So when you do make the change and you head over into status, um, this is probably gonna say connected, but all of this right here is gonna say zeros. And all of this will be zeros while a couple of these numbers down here for the pools will be changing. So yes, it is going to be connected, um, but it just takes about 30 to 45 minutes to do that. Now to get the Jazz Miner onto a pool, I downloaded a program that's called Advanced IP Scanner. Uh, and so once it opens up and it's going to search and find everything, when you see the little blue monitor, those are the ones that are currently connected. Uh, and so right here, this one, it literally says Jazz Miner, super easy to find. You're gonna hit on this little down arrow, double click on this HTTP option right there. And then this is gonna take you over into the dashboard. And so this is what the dashboard looks like. This is the overview. This is where you go to the status, but how to get it connected is you wanna go over into minor. Now, once you go into minor, this is where you fill in the details. And so you want to just basically copy and paste the URL one, two, and three. And those are simply found right here on Poolin's website. You simply go into their home you're going to click on Ethereum, and here is the three mining pools. So you literally click here for copy, copy, and copy. So you're going to copy each one, place them into the pool one, two, and three. Now, when it comes down to the worker information, you just wanna type in whatever name you used for pool in or F2 pool, anything like that. So my account name that I used was Jimmy Promo, uh, and then I just put in .001. And I do that with all of these here so, so it knows which miner is working. Now that means in the future when I buy a second one of these, then it could be Jimmy Promo .002. Then I know exactly which one and how they're performing and if one of them has an issue, uh, then I'd be able to know which one it is. So I always like to do .001. You choose the coin of what you want to mine, which you have ETC or you also have Ethereum. And then you choose your frequency. So 225 is literally the best option. Uh, it, it earns you much more. More. And then once you hit on update, when you go into overview, then basically everything will be set at zero. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to actually start mining, to actually start seeing something come in, not only on the Jazz Miner dashboard, but also with the pool itself. Now that is one thing I wish I knew at the very beginning. I kept on playing with it. I thought there was an issue. I kept trying to switch different pools, go into different areas. Come to find out, it just takes 30 to 45 minutes for it to show up. Very simple. And it's just one of those caveat things of a Jazz Miner miner. So now let's take a look at how much this would earn if we moved over into Ethereum Classic. So you just wanna go over into your pool and homepage. You're gonna basically hit that little arrow. You can see all of the coins you're able to mine. And so here we go, Ethereum Classic, you hit down. This little calculator right here will show you your daily earnings. So hypothetically, you're going in there, you're putting in that you have this miner at the default stage of 520 mega hash. That means you're able to mine 0.378 Ethereum Classic, which is equivalent of $17.27. Now, if you were to take out the electricity cost, which is right around 69 cents, and that means we're at about $16.50. Now, if you move it up to that higher frequency that I have, you put in your 580 mega hash, it's going to mine you 0.422 Ethereum Classic, which is equivalent of uh, $19.26. Again, take out that electricity cost somewhere around $18.50 or $18.70. So you're still looking at a profit, uh, even with electricity cost out of above $18, which really is not bad for something that only costs about 69 cents to run. Now, what is Ethereum Classic going to look like in the future? You know, when this changes to happen, I don't know. Um, and is most of all of the Ethereum mining, you know, hash rate gonna move over to Ethereum Classic? 
more than likely it will. Uh, but again, this is where you're able to see, you know, how much you're able to earn. And this is just based on today's market. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys. We took a look at where you can purchase the, the Jazz Miner X4 1U. We took a look at the profitability and this details here is on the lowest setting for the, for the one U here. So this one's saying that it'll earn 8,500 when my uh, results are stating right around 10,000, uh, in terms of its profitability, even with, uh, electricity costs put in. Uh, here is the pool that I'm using, which is just poolin.com. And you can see, you know, how it's done. Uh, you can take a look at its earnings. We already took a look at this. And then also to the Jazz Miner dashboard and also how to get this one connected. So that is everything I want to talk about in today's video. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.